The chill in the imposing South Block office of the Indian Army Chief was too obvious not to be felt. General Deepak Kapoor handed over his job as Army Chief to his reported pet hate, General Vijay Kumar Singh. The goodbyes and good lucks were frigid. For two years, the generals have clashed and tormented each other. Singh's age and integrity were questioned by Kapoor's key aide, Lieutenant General Avdesh Prakash. The bitterness culminated in Avdesh Prakash being put in the dock for alleged corruption by Singh's court of inquiry. This clash left Kapoor's authority as army chief diminished. The bad vibes overshadowed General Singh's taking over as the 26th chief of the world's second largest army. But the moment Kapoor was seen off, there were hugs and bonomi. There was obvious goodwill for Singh, a rugged sharpshooting soldier who wears his commando badge earned at a US Rangers course with pride. General Kapoor's relations with some of his top commanders were frayed and tenuous. I think that legacy is for the nation and you all to judge. It is not for me to say anything. The change of guard is expected to bring back harmony into the army top brass. But Kapoor served Singh a reminder of the pressures that come with the hot seat. We do expect enhanced attempts at infiltration this summer and the trends for that are already obvious. The, the infiltrations are aided and abetted by our Western neighbor. General Singh takes over in the middle of doctrinal changes to face multi-front challenges and the likelihood of the army being dragged deeper into internal security duties. General Kapoor gets the credit for pushing for a good pay deal for the military, but he's most likely to be remembered as a lacklustre general who was reluctant to act against tainted aids, one who had to be forced by his political boss to do so. His successor's immediate task would be to restore the authority and prestige of the office of Army Chief. With video journalist Setu Madhavan, Vishal Thapar, NewsX, New Delhi.